the most decorated coach in Bemidji State women's hockey history has decided to move on. Today, Steve Sturditch announced his retirement from coaching. It was a bittersweet day for the longtime coach, but Sturditch is ready for the next chapter of his life. It's hard to say uh, goodbye, said goodbye to our team today, and actually you guys will probably get this better than some of the girls, but I said the theme today is from George Harrison, all things must pass. And uh, it went past a few of them, but I didn't mean it to go that way. Um, but nonetheless, it's, it's time. Today marked the end of an era. Steve Sertich arrived at Bemidji State in 2006, and now eight years later, he leaves the program as the all-time winningest coach in Beaver women's hockey history. It was pretty messy at, at the start eight years ago, and, and I think we've earned some respect in the league, and you know, I wish I could say we won a lot of games here. Um, wish we would have won more. Wish we would could have gotten more people in the building. But nonetheless, uh, I'm proud of the progress that we've made here. And uh, I look forward to following this team in the future. And I think good things are going to happen here at Bemidji State. In a press conference that was more upbeat than sad, Sertich thanked those who've helped and touched him along the way. And like many coaches who decide to hang him up, Sertich is looking forward to more visits with his family. You know, sometimes when you coach, you miss a few things in, in their lives. And I know I have a daughter in Florida that uh, probably will need help during the winter months for babysitting. <laughs> so that's part of the plan. Uh. In my short time covering the women's team and Coach Sertich, he's always been good for some solid one-liners. In eight seasons with BSU, Sertich won 81 games, and he was also named WCHA Coach of the Year in 2010. Bemidji State Athletics Director Tracy Dill said today that the school will begin a national search for the next women's head coach. Dill would like a new coach as soon as possible, but there is no timetable on when somebody will be hired. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.